let's make second part of wobbler steam engine bearing now check here in table second part bearing material 6061 alloy this is aluminium alloy let's check dimension now see the outer diameter 3 by 8 inch the length of this bearing 11 by 16 inch and this head length 9 by 64 inch and this bottom diameter 5 by 64 and there is a one hole 3 by 16 inch so let's make this and then there is a corner fillet all 0 0.005 inch so first we have to change unit so right bottom edit document unit Documents property units here change IPS and fraction I am going to choose 64 or more than that but 64 is there so and this one I am going to use decimal 4 ok now choose plane front plane sketch now activate line now I am going to draw one line up to origin Okay, press escape key to out. Now select this line as a construction line, a smart dimension. Now overall length 11 by 16 inch. See, now let's define this diameter. This is bottom diameter 5 by 16. The upper one 3 by 8 inch fine then this height press escape key and make this height and this is going to be 9 by 64 inch see now press escape key to out of dimension go to features and activate revolve boss base feature now this is open just because of this center line is construction line so here system asks you would you like the sketch to be automatically closed say yes system detect center line and choose as an axis of revolution in direction one i am going to keep blind angle 360 because we want a complete solid body say yes see here now select the top face sketch now activate circle tool is press at center or origin and drag and press somewhere here press escape key to out and activate the smart dimension now this diameter internal diameter 3 by 16 inch this is fully defined this sketch now go to features activate extruded cut feature from we will keep as it is now direction one we will choose through all see so it's going to cut up to end of body look Go to feature and activate fillet first one fillet type constant size and you have to choose edges so one two three and internal four now here show selection bar tangent propagation full preview then fillet parameters here you have to choose radius 0 0.005 keep symmetric Profile circular. This internal also there. Okay. Now right click on materials not specified. Edit material. And go to alloy, al aluminium alloy. Come down. And you will find here 6061 alloy. See? You will see all the details of material here, elastic module, passions, poisons ratio, shear module, mass density, apply and close. See material applies but appearance is different so I am going to open appearance, go to appearance, select this default color, double click and it will apply. Again here there is option edit appearance. Now from here I am going to apply yellow. Okay. Now let me save this one part 2 bearing don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks